When people meet me on the street, they probably won't know I have dementia. They will treat me like any ordinary person on the street. I won't expect them to treat me differently, okay? So my father here is now 83 and he used to be a school principal of several schools and he's to me la, a lifelong educator. Hey Papa, later got tuition with Esther. She'll come over after lunch, okay? Okay. okay. Well, it's in my blood. Yes, I love kids and I love to teach. I do need uh, Michelle's help sometimes. Sometimes only, ne? Without her around, I feel completely lost. Oh dear, never mind. I'm always here for you. <laughs> thank you, thank you. <laughs> so I think it all started with my dad forgetting a lot. And then uh, we suggested that maybe he got it checked out. And then that's where he went to the polyclinic. Uh, we love that, you know, the progress of the condition can be delayed. So we were introduced to this program called Voices for Hope. We thought, you know, uh, Voices for Hope would be a great program for me to understand how to support him and also for him, you know, to find strategies of managing the condition. My father here is very unique and special. And to be honest, in the earlier days when he was working, he was very busy working. So I never really got to uh, see his talent. So, what is the activity that you really like to do? Uh, yeah, yeah, it's called silent disco. It's good lah because uh, music that I love to listen to, uh, the sentimental, soft, waltzing type. Hi, Michelle. Hey, hi. Hey, hello. how's your dad doing? He looks happy, no? Yeah, he's great today. But there are days when it's rough. So, when my father was diagnosed with Alzheimer's, Supporting him was the first thing I would do. But having done that over a period of time, I realised that it can get really, really taxing and uh, sometimes exhausting because it's not just caring for him, but also having work to do. So having been a part of DSG, they have been really, really very supportive, yeah? In attending these caregiver programmes, right, I think the common theme is that I'm not alone. There are other people out there as well. Some of the activities, I'll say, very therapeutic. <laughs> In my last 30 years with Dementia Singapore, I've learned that dementia is not just being forgetful. Actually, people with dementia are just like you and me. Um, they look normal. That's why it's very often referred to as an invisible disability. Society definitely needs to be more inclusive of people with dementia and their caregivers. They are in the community and we need to support and care for them. In the neighbourhood, we run dementia daycare centres. We have a whole range of activities to stimulate and engage the person with dementia. Art and craft, music, we have uh, reminiscence therapy, we have occupational therapy, we have physiotherapy. Training is important for the caregivers because they are thrown into this journey. We in our academy work with stakeholders to design training courses that provide dementia-specific skills and strategies to support persons with dementia and also their caregivers. A few years ago, we have this program called Enabling Eddy, which uses virtual reality technology to enhance our training and to allow people to see the world in the eyes of a person living with dementia. So Dementia Singapore is very keen to promote a dementia-inclusive society. So in, in Kebun Baru, which is one of our dementia-friendly community projects, we actually work with the community partners to come up with some projects like, for example, the Wayfinding Project, where we actually painted murals on the walls of uh, HDB flats to help the elderly and persons with dementia find their way around better. So for the assisted living project in Kebun Baru, in Block 115, uh, we actually set up a centre together with our community partner to help people in the block who have dementia. So this centre that we have actually can provide meals, provide activities, provides telemedicine or telehealth for the residents within the block that they live in. 
So are you a member of Kara yet? Yeah, I signed up already. And you know what? It's a useful app and I've already used some of the benefits. The Kara program is actually the first dementia membership program in Singapore. And we hope to be able to reach out to more people with dementia and their families through Kara. For our Dementia Hub, it's actually a one-stop knowledge portal that provides information for people with dementia, their caregivers, and whoever who wants to find out information about dementia. In Singapore today, there are actually about 100,000 people living with dementia, and the numbers are rising very quickly. These people and their caregivers really need support and care, and we should never forget the caregivers as well. Without any support, they will burn out in their caregiving journey. Dementia Singapore will always try to provide quality and innovative care for people with dementia. We want to fight the stigma of dementia. We want to increase the awareness of dementia. And our vision is to make Singapore a truly dementia-inclusive society. People who don't know that I have dementia, how do I go and tell them I got dementia, right? It's a chicken and egg situation. It's just that I'm forgetful and I hope they are understanding and give me the space and time to be accepted. Treat me like ordinary people. That's the most important thing. 